What's up guys? JP here for another JPOV, this time of Final Fantasy 13 3 Lightning Returns. That's me. I'm Lightning. In a cloud outfit. Because, well, with pink glasses. Oh, who's this character? Hello. Because Square Enix likes to harp on those nostalgia moments as these two battle it out in a clash of Final Fantasy tunes long since past. Also, bunny ears on a kid for some reason. All right, where to begin with this game? Well, first off, let's just start by saying um, I do not enjoy this game. So a lot of this is going to be rather negative. Uh, if you're looking for someone that really enjoys this game, this is not that place. And I'm not sure if that's because this game's not for me or if it's because this game is actually a piece of gigantic shit that is just one giant fan service um, to Final Fantasy fans to, to once again harp on that that note that people enjoy. So, where to begin? Um, let, let's just go to the menu and I'll explain the game's thing. Because if I'm walking around in the world, we're actually wasting time. Because here is the story. In the top right hand corner, you can see the time counting down. That time correlates to the time of real time, basically. So it's currently 2.39 in the game. It should be 2.40. There we go soon. It moves very quickly. You are the savior. Lightning is now the savior of God. Named, what is her name again? They gave God a, a name. Let's, let's take a look at this name real quick. Um. God's name is Booney Vezel. He is the Almighty God, Booney Vels. Benevels? Benevies? Benevels? Anyways, uh, you are the savior of souls. Your, your quest is to take souls from this world, which is ending, and bring them to a new world, which God is creating by just completing quests and, and fetching Fido for someone and, and doing things like that. Um, that's kind of the basic of the game. Basis of the game. We're going to jump into a fight here. You guys can see how the combat works. Um, it's very unlike traditional Final Fantasy games where it's your it was active. Uh, or Sorry, it was, it was turn-based. This is very active. And that, that was a fight. I hit triangle. Uh, this is a, a Yuna skin, of course, from Final Fantasy X, and it is incredibly overpowered. It's one of the pre-order bonus skins that you get. The skins come with the certain moves in it. I can actually show that off now. They're called schemata. I call them skins because I don't like making up terms and jargon for games. Um, this is it. The Spira Summoner with some cat ears for a touch. Um, you're able to combine these. For example, I could change the garb to Nocturne if I so desire. Or I could change the weapon to any of these other weapons. And uh, all of these things give a certain bonus, a positive or minus, as you can see there, strength or stagger power or, or magic or uh, ATB speed, which are the bars at the bottom. And they all do different things to the character. You can also add some accessories. You can do some adornments, which have no effect on the character themselves. They just make your character look really stupid. So that's cool. Let's put that on there, because why not? Then you're also able to assign your abilities. Some abilities are locked to each specific schemata, but some are not, much like thunder and attack. You can assign these to whatever thing you want, whatever ability you want. And to be honest, the fighting is probably the... Well, no, it is the best part of this game. It is a, a cool part of this game, and I, I do enjoy it. Um, however, I haven't had any real challenges in the fights because my characters are so overpowered with these skins. This, of course, is the Final Fantasy VII Soldier First Class Schemata, and it is just crazy, crazy strong. I actually wonder what happens if I give this the Bustard Sword. 696 attack. You can see in the top right. Nope. 754 is still higher. So 
we gotta we gotta introduce another thing real quick. Uh, if you look at the map here, or sorry, rather, not the map, the quest. There is a quest system. There's main quest. There's side quest, and then there's these kind of like quest pertaining to each world uh right now there's only four worlds that i have found um there's only four things here so i assume maybe that's all that's in the game uh there's luxurion which is the first city that you're in there's yusnan which is the city that i'm in right now there's the wildlands and then there's the dead dunes which i have not been to yet but you can uh, pretty much go to them if you think about final fantasy 13 1 which was an incredibly linear game and you compare it to Final Fantasy thirteen three, it is the complete opposite. So much so that you start off in Luxury and you do one quest, and then you can jump to any of these other things and really do whatever you want. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's just the side quests and the main quests fall so flat, and the characters, Lightning and uh, Hope, who is kind of the not a narrator, but he's basically a character that they brought back so that you can be told everything about this game from a character that you know from the Final Fantasy world. He, he really serves no other purpose than that. And he's very long-winded and very annoying, and he reminds you what time it is constantly, and yada, 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 yada. Let's look at the, mine, the, the side quest here. They're very simple, very boring. For example, this person gave me a nectar that I'm supposed to drink whenever I have a status ailment. However, I used it when I did not have a status ailment, and thanks to the time mechanic in the game, I have to wait 24 hours to go and get another one before I complete this quest, which sucks. And I hate games like that. We're going to do a main quest here. I've actually let the game sit while doing nothing so that time can build up to this... I think it's 7 o'clock to 3 a.m. so that I can do The Legend of the Savior. The Legend of the Savior involves me collecting a bunch of fireworks and giving them to people in a certain manner so that when these people receive them for some reason, then the fireworks explode and a building crashes and that's Cactar. And yeah. Uh, there's stuff like this around towns that you'll see. Okay. I'm sure. Um, while we're running there, we talk about my HP down the bottom left-hand corner. The HP can only be restored by items, and you can only have six items right now. I would assume that uh, gets expanded later on in the game. I think I just one-shot this. Oh, pretty close. Not a bad victory. You can only have six items per uh, life or per time coming down to the world and it's it's really rather annoying because there's there's ways to restore them within the the world uh such as going to a shop owner like this and purchasing um purchasing some golden nectar for 300 gil then your hp is restored and you don't have to use an item um, i'm not really the biggest fan of, of that thing but when you only have one character in the fights, I guess it makes sense. Also, let's listen to this guy. Interesting. Um, to be honest, I actually recorded 40 minutes of this game already. And it turned into 40 minutes of me just shitting on the game over and over and over and over and over and over. And actually not being able to show anything because I was not in the allotted time to do any of my quest for the... 40 minutes that I recorded, so I let the game sit and got closer and closer to the 7 o'clock uh, time slot so that I could actually show something off in the game. Uh, when you see characters like this, this is actually stuff from other people in the game sent to the Outer World, which is its social media nonsense. So this person decided to take a picture of Lightning dressed in her uh, native garb, I guess you could say, fighting some fantastical creature. Um, and it shows you I could I could get a liberator for 4,900 gil. I don't really want a liberator for 4,900 gil, but it looks cool. You can also look at him. That's what he's wearing right now. Hello, everyone. Enjoy the game. Thanks, Joel. We're going to give you a cheer. It takes a second to do that because it's a Japanese RPG made by Japanese developers who don't understand the internet yet. And uh, there we go. Cool. I don't know what that get him gets him. If it gets him anything, or if it uh, was just a something that I can do. 
Um, so yeah, we're basically going to wait till 7 o'clock. Uh, maybe we'll do some fights here. And then we'll uh, progress the main story forward. To talk about the Final Fantasy, maybe, I, I think is probably the good point here. Or a good point to do so. Like, I really think Final Fantasy 13 and, and the Fabula Crystallis Nova, or Nova Fabuloso Nova Crystallis Final Fantasy, whatever this terrible thing is, was just such a piece of shit by Square Enix. Um, I thought 13 was a pretty blah game until the end when it opened up into a world and it turned into a pretty good game. However, the story just fell so flat, it was terrible. Um, I felt like 2, like they, they took the response from Final Fantasy 1 that this game was so linear that we did not enjoy it. And they went into Final Fantasy 13 2 with, this game is so not linear, it's all over the place, there's a billion storylines going on at once, and it was just not enjoyable for me. And now with this game, it's a different approach to non-linear game structure, and they introduced this time mechanic that I'm just not a fan of, because you're, you're doing things like I'm doing right now, running around, and maybe later in the game more things open up so you're not doing this. But I don't like the idea of having to plan out a schedule to do certain quests on a certain day in a video game. I, I think that's okay for like side quests and um, maybe certain unlockables or only come back into this certain area at night and you'll see a certain mob that drops a certain item. Like that's cool, right? But for the main part of the, the game, for the main quest, to lock it to this shit where I have to wait between 7 p.m. and 3 a.m. for the boss to get back? Come on, man, that's just... It's just not fun, and it, it's kind of a shame because the fighting in this game is actually, like I said, one of the more enjoyable parts. It just never happens, unless you're walking around and you see those guys, like I, like I showed earlier. Um, I've spent probably five, six hours in this. Um, I would say 40% of that is me just running around hopelessly trying to find something to do because I don't have any of the proper time to do anything. I don't know, clerk. Are you are you telling me I should go check her out? Um, let's go look at the outfitters. Sure. Or wait, can I buy sweets from the sh sweet shop so I can heal myself? I oh, know, these just restore only certain... Yeah, fuck it, let's buy that. I'll take your full HP. Let's go to the... Outfitters here, see what they have to buy. Probably a lot of nonsense. A cyber jumpsuit. What does that thing do? It gives me dispel level two. 80 strength. This is the Primavera. It gives me area sweep level two. Here's a raven mask. A golden mask. A moonlight mask. A crimson mask. Those aren't very enticing bunny ears, Square Enix. Those are some wild bunny ears. They've got leopard skin on them. So that means that they skinned a leopard and put it on some bunny ears. Got some smiley glasses, some frosty ones, some angelic, and that's it. All right, cool. It has been a pleasure. Well, we've got 30 minutes left. I'll show you how big the map is. It's actually quite big. Uh, one of the, the more annoying things is these red doors, they're only accessible at certain times of day. So not only are quests locked, but they also lock certain parts of the map by day. Which is just not a very motivating... Like, I'm not excited like, oh shit, guys, I get to wait four hours in-game to be able to walk into the zone, and when I do that, well, I can explore that area. How exciting. Alright, this guy better show up pretty soon. What are these bros doing? What's up, clerk? The Chocobo girl in the glutton's quarter is giving out fireworks for free right there in the marketplace. Oh my god, I've already got ten fireworks though, so I don't need them. What's up, waiter? No, I don't want to do that. So, let's see if this guy just, like, pops up or if they have him walk in from somewhere here in 15 minutes. I don't see anything. 
Well, there's a there's a Final Fantasy thing. Game looks all right. Um, runs 720p30 on on 360 and PS3. Every now and then I do see a little bit of FPS dip, but it's because there's so many uh, people within the city walking around. And to be honest, they do a, a decent job with filling the city up. All right, where is this, bro? Wait. Oh my god. It's only five o'clock, guys. We still have two hours. Oh god damn it. No one uses military time screen. What are you? What are you thinking? What are you taking a photo of, man? I'll kill you. I like how everyone runs when you sing your swing your sword. Well, let's at least do something. Um, general store. Okay, let's go to the general store. I'll buy some potions. Move out of the way. Hey, buddy. All right. Whoops. Time also doesn't pass in menus, so that's kind of annoying. At least I don't think it does. 1715. I'll show you guys something else. One of the things you can do in the game is this EP abilities. I don't know what EP stands for. I forget. Um, but in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the EP counter there. Currently, I have five. I think that number has to go up throughout the course of the game. Uh, otherwise, it's really lame. Uh, you can do certain things within the game with that. Uh, so one of them, for example, is I can stop time with chronostasis, which uses one EP. Uh, I can also teleport to different places for three. I can escape a battle, but that'll actually lose 10 minutes uh, of, of time for that certain day. Um, this is a raise one for three EP, and, and those don't come back until you go to this kind of, this hub world, this overarching world called the Ark. And we'll uh, we'll try to show that to you guys later on. Didn't you hear? Today's show was canceled. Come back tomorrow. Thanks, bro. Um, and so I, I guess that's just another system to keep track of. It, it kind of has a, it's almost a wager type system where you can use two EP in a fight to immediately kind of freeze time and, and stagger someone. Um, or you can use it to do, do something else. It's really up to you. I don't know what, the, what does that thing do? Is this, can I open this? Oh. It's currently closed. Why the closed guard? Crazy woman crashed the party the other day. Security's been. Oh, okay. Oh, it looks like that's gated. There's a red gate. I'm not really sure why that's there. Um. I guess let's let's jump around here. Wait. Someone said Chocolina. Is there a Chocolina here? Chocolinas are these characters that were introduced in Final Fantasy X2, where they took a chocobo and decided to fuse that with a person and make a completely and utterly annoying character that I've ever seen, ever, in a history of, I mean, Kate Sith, terrible character. The Chocolina absolutely destroys him in the level of annoyingness that occurs. Um, where, where is this thing? I don't know where she's at. Are they on the map? No, uh, not really. Um, I guess I should note that in this world, uh, it is ruled by snow. And Lightning is trying to save snow. But she's not really sure how because Chaos, with a capital C, has infested his heart or something like that. Or, in, or infested parts of the world. And uh, when, it, when they do that, bad things happen. I'm not really sure. Uh... That's kind of the story there. There was an interesting cinematic to open the game up. Uh, and so far, the, the cutscenes are interesting at best. There's a lot of uh, a lot of explanations for everything, mostly coming from Hope. Oh, here's a Chocolina. What? I don't have a choice, do I? What? Uh, meow, meow, Togo Tao. 
Oh my god. What is this camera angle? Is that guy really playing that tune on the song? Or what? Playing that song on that terrible thing? I'm gonna kill you, kid. Oh, there's Can a quest. Play that again for oh me? my god, why would you? Oh, hey. Your name isn't Lightning, is it? Oh god. Just how did you know that? Oh, well, the girl in black told me. She said that if I played this song, a lady called Lightning would show up. Lumina. Lumina's the bad guy, Lumina. by the way. She's the one who showed me how to play this Well, at least for now. I'm sure there's some big bad, like, sure. the devil or Satan. Before. Or maybe God becomes so the bad person the because you want free will. All very good JRPG <laughs> storylines. I'm not What's so funny? entirely sure. That's exactly what Lumina said you'd say. She said that if I played the first bit, you'd come over to talk to me. And then you'd be sure to ask me to play the rest. I'm guessing now I have to do something to hear the rest, right? Yep. Lumina said if you want to hear the whole song, you're going to have to find the musical treasure spheres. Oh, cool. Of course. Supposed to open them all. Let me guess, they're scattered around this world. Champion's Court of just off Armor Alley stands a famous cactar statue. Here in Count Lightning encounters a young trumpeter by the name of Morris. Morris, you suck at the trumpet, playing a very familiar tune. You can only play a few notes of the melody. If Lightning wants to hear Morris, you will have to collect the rest of the score from the musical treasure spheres. This is another of Luminous games, but maybe it's worth Lightning to play along. Oh, sure. I'll accept it. Although I'm probably never going to come back to this game after I'll after this is recorded. Game, but not for my own benefit. <laughs> Maybe if Snow hears that song down here in the streets, it'll give him some smidgen of hope. Huh? Wait a second. Hope is, is a word thrown around very future? frequently. What? It's rather annoying. I can't say, but I'll tell you what. You play me the whole song, and maybe I'll tell you. All right, it's a deal. But you still have to do what I asked for first. Here's the key to the boxes. Cool. You have to find all of them. When you're done, come back and talk to me. Soulful sounds from a brass horn can be heard from the musical treasure spheres that Lumina has left around town. These spheres also have a ghostly notes dancing around them, so they shouldn't be too hard to find. Cool story. Is it 7 o'clock yet? Has time passed throughout this entire quest accepting period? No, it has not. Um, I actually know where one of these is. So that's cool. We'll go grab one of those real quick, because why not? we got to wait 45 minutes. Whoops. What'd we get? The nostalgic score refrain. Cool, nice camera angle. Get off that ladder. Part of me really wonders why they didn't just go with the full Kingdom Hearts type fight, where you just walk around here and fights actively come into the world. Like, I think that would be a lot of cooler than, than jumping into a fight, but whatever. Let's see what this passive-aggressive singer wants me to do for her. Are you sure you're not sick or something? My heart may be. The cruel bastard, he left me. And you think he took your voice with him? You don't understand what it is to perform, do you? He's not just my lover. He's written all my best hits. We were an unbeatable partnership. But then he up and left, leaving nothing but his songs behind. I tried to sing them, but I'm so angry at him, I just can't get the words out. So you're not heartbroken, just angry? I don't expect you to understand. You're right about that. I don't understand at all. Wait a second. Would you be willing to go and find him for me? I'll make it worth your while. My word is good, I promise. What are you gonna do, Olga? Why are you asking me? <laughs> because there's no danger he'd fall for you and forget about me. In the Fountain Square, wherever there's quarter lightning, meets a singer called Olga who has been abandoned by Birdie, her lover. Why does that sound familiar? And songwriting partner. If Lightning were to find the wayward birdie, it could help the dive get the voice back. Yeah, sure, I'll accept it. Not knowing what the reward's gonna be. Don't hate me if he does fall. <laughs> if he does, I'll hunt you down, tear your hair out, and claw your eyes. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, anyway, sure. His name is Birdie. He's the kindest, most gentle man in the whole city. He should be easy to find in a sea of undesirable men. That's really not much of a lead, but I'm willing to help I you out. I think that's Birdie. I think that's what they're trying to tell me. 
I don't know. I think this city must be getting to me. He's running from me. Oh, he doesn't know hey, where he's going. Why are you running from me? I just want to talk. I, I don't know any Olga. Uh, I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure out you know her. Do you know yeah. anything else about her? Like where her missing lover is? Can't tell because he has that oh, mask on, right? I can't Lightning. Keep the secret for any longer. I just can't. I have to confess it to someone, and it might as well be you. I'm her lost love. You don't say. Is this your idea of a joke? No, it's true, I swear. My name is Birdie. You know, the songwriter? I promised her my undying love, but now I don't dare face Riveting. her. Riveting. I unwittingly lost the 354th song I wrote for her. Wait a minute. Did you say 354? That's a lot of songs. Also, 13 well, becomes you know, very... He didn't run out of ideas. Common in this game, ideas in the sense that it's the number that pops up a lot. For example, it was revealed uh, pretty early on in the game world. that huh. before be all of this started good, happening in the old days, there was actually 26 hours in the day in instead the of 24 of because it went to 13 instead of noon. Away. So, you know, Which that makes a lot of sense. The favor I want to ask. Right? I'm sure There's also 13 days left in the world. Spell it out for me. Because be they sure. needed a number and well, why not, right? I'm sure if Final Fantasy XIV, they'll have a quest, monster. but there's 14 days left or something. Please? You and Olga. Like this kind of, well, I'm not even paying attention to this conversation. <laughs> it's so long-winded. Here we go. What a, burning satchel was stole by the beach in Lower City. Head to the far end of Central Avenue. Go down the steps and defeat the monster that stole the satchel. All right, how about... Uh, what? The fireworks were. Oh, you son of a. Hello again. Damn it! If you don't. Next time you. You have to stop. Who cares? Because. Yo, you got a bird on your shoulder, kid. What? That thing looks dead. Did you like? Why can't he just write a new one? I think he like. Now that you mention it, I didn't even. I don't know what he did with that thing. Anyways, it's almost nine o'clock, so let's go find. Uh, ooh, a shiny thing. Let's go uh, back over to the main area so we can get this show on the road and I can never play this game again. I really wanted to like this game, guys. I was actually quite excited for it. Um, especially when last week Square released a, a very, very, very heavy JRPG uh, by the name of Bravely Default. Um, and it, it has every single trope that you can think of in a JRPG from a character having amnesia to four crystals to practically everything and it's actually quite good they do a lot of things that that make those JRPG things tolerable so much so that uh, it has random battles in it they're turn based but you can actually turn them off completely or you can actually jump into the fights and get uh, double the amount of fights when you're walking around so they happen every one or two seconds you can also just auto to where the fights occur all by themselves, and it's a pretty enjoyable game. It, granted, it's for a completely different system, but... Oh, he just spawns. Alright, here we go. It's the main time. It's the main quest. Here we go. I'm excited. We can finally do something. thank you for... What's this? This is way more than I asked for. We want to make this a show people will never forget. Yeah. Is this another one of the director's wacky ideas? All right, I'm game. I like your After outfit, guy. This long, no reason to quit now. It's gonna be dangerous. Like it says, explosives or explosions. I can't tell. Is that? Sh make sure that director of yours knows that. I can't tell what that says on his chest. I think the boss has guessed what you're up to. He knows his fireworks and what they can Now what do I do? Then why doesn't he try to stop me? I guess he thinks it's still all the directors. Where do I go? He seems to trust him. Is it marked on my map? Oh yeah. Let's go there. Okay, as long as he keeps thinking that. I really think you can pull this off. Maybe, maybe not. But I've still gotta memorize the lines and the rest. What? Don't worry. Leave it to me. I'll direct you through the moves. Don't care, Hope. Shut up. Okay, it's all ready to go. The fireworks are in place. Here we go, guys. I'm excited. Fantastic! We're going to light up the stage like never before. <laughs> we'll give you exactly what the you voice want. acting is also no uh, just 
So Hell, bad. Lightning's character is so flat. The, the entire like no voice inflection at all. Actors know how flimsy your setup is. Don't you think they'd want to know about it? And just what are you hinting at? You're not seriously threatening to blab to the cast and let them in on our secret, are you? I'm are you gonna do it, Lightning? Star, that's all. I mean, what if she gets hit by the fireworks and thrown off the stage? You need someone who knows the risks and how to handle themselves. Maybe. Who's going to replace her on such <gasps> short notice? Is it lightning? <laughs> You're looking at her. Oh my god. I'm done. Huh? You want to get on the stage? So, I feel like Final Fantasy, uh, the past couple ones, have been so, like... All these extra pyrotechnics. They're for your own like, where a lot of the, the original ones really shined through is that they were so serious that there was never really too much fan service or, or joking moments. And that's all Final Fantasy has been for, like, the past two. And when they're trying to be serious, it's just, like, the most stupid shit that ever. I, I don't know. I don't know. If you're going to go on stage, you'll need a proper ensemble. No one's going to believe you're the savior oh, dressed like that. I'll just wear the costume the actor usually wears. What costume is that? No, no, no. Out of the I, I get to go shop for a question? Or besides, the look is an outfit? You. you don't like look, my cloud outfit? You on my stage if you don't have an outfit to wear for the role. I'll leave it to you to find one. Now, go buy something that'll work. Oh, boy. Or you can go with the other option. You could win it. Win it? What do you mean? The Slaughterhouse. Right now, the grand prize is an outfit that'll be perfect for your debut. It was made for you. Yep, let's go do it. Join we can actually fight something. Win that dress. Now that will be your real audition. You say you can handle yourself on stage no matter how Why dangerous? Is it? Oh, I also have control of the camera for some reason in these cutscenes. On, the clock's ticking. It's kind of weird. Enter the Slaughterhouse tournament and win the perfect costume for the savior. You already said that. If you can do that... You pass the audition. Then you can stand on stage as a star. Oh my god, just let me finale. let me go. Please. Up oh, why am I staring at this guy's face? Oh. Alright, so I gotta do this by 3 a.m. Okay. Give me control. So the director wants you to Uh where do I go for this? So I turn to left. All right. Win at the arena to be in his play. You can run in the overworld, by the way. Hold down uh, R2. Easy for you to say. Drains that blue meter. So I gotta do this by 3 a.m. and it's currently 7. So we have a decent amount. I'm also curious to know what happens, like. If you don't finish the game in the time allowed, or allotted rather, does it, do you just lose? Is that like one of the endings of the game? Very curious. See, and this is another fucking thing that annoys the crap out of me. Is that hope just can't... Alright, screw it. Oh, cool. Hope constantly just, like, talks about the same stuff over and over. Oops. Uh. Okay, that was a very easy fight. I hit triangle, and then I hit circle. <laughs> oh, we gotta keep running. We gotta get to the Coliseum. It's the Chocobo Girl. Hi, Chocobo Girl. Oh god, please don't put me in a fight with those pros. Oh shit, I can't attack. Ah! There we go. Me. I'm here to sign up for the tournament. I've already heard the story. So you wish to tread the boards in the role of I do. Let me share a little something with you. That is not a part for the half-hearted. Oh yeah? be committed. Oh, don't worry. I know that better than anyone. Yeah. As the savior, you should fear no enemy. Not if it stands to harm the people of this world that are yours to protect. Show me if your heart is truly strong enough. Show me in the slaughterhouse. I've never the slaughterhouse. Fight. I'll take that challenge. 
I know that you seem to have confidence in your strength, but do you have it in your skill? What's going on in that thing behind her? hacking and clumsy tussles. Show me a beautiful win. All right, I, I don't. You'll have no complaint. <laughs> the fighting actress. What do we have to do? We got to feed Gremlin? Yeah, let's do it. Go on. All right. Let's move the CD thing with the left joystick. Ooh, here we go. Why does that guy have like weird bondage gear on? I'm excited. Kaleidoscope of loading. So a lot of the times I feel like the combat is just going from like uh, ATB meter to ATB meter and trying to kill time. Or sorry, just use the meter up and go to the next meter. Is that really all that was? Well, shit. I wonder what terrible looking outfit they're going to give me. I'm very excited to see if uh, if Lightning's going to be wearing skimpy clothes cuz I love uh dressing Lightning up and so you made it through the first round. Oh, it's the I first round. I should expect that from oh, a novice actress. Sure. I love dressing her up, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. It's my favorite thing to do. Light, you only have to make it is Shut up, Hope. What are we fighting this time? Anubis. Yeah, sure. Go on. I'll see that you... Yeah, sure. More dialogue. Um, alright. Let's skip that movie. Alright, even the Anubis has high heels. We did it. Took some damage there. I guess I'll use a potion. I think he was going to actually say the same dialogue. Uh, recovery items, potion, use. All right. You've come at last. Who are we fighting? Zaltus, the guy that you fought in the beginning of the game. All of these models I've seen thus far and I've been playing for six hours. None of them are unique. They were actually all in the original game, believe it or not. Just reused assets. Ooh. Alright, we're going to overclock. Oh, we gotta stagger this fool. There we go, he's staggered. Okay, we killed him. Not a bad victory. Dope. What is the outfit that I'm getting? Let's see if the announcer says the same thing. Lightning. All right, let's just skip that. <laughs> I applaud you. Before, if you can face such a stage as that, become the savior you were meant to be. Then, do I have to save the people of this world? I would give everything I am. Ah, wow. So many memories. Your delivery is full of uncertainty, but that is what lends it its realism. You've convinced me. I will entrust you with both the dress and the role. The role? You mean the part of savior? It belonged to you once, didn't it? <laughs> that it did. 
That show holds the dreams of this city. A true actress is so perfect, she can only be found within a dream. A play lasts only a night, and yet that one night... Oh my god. Your audience awaits you. I just want to see the outfit. All I got was a crown of splendor. Oh, there we go. That's a dress that will truly shine on stage. I think you should. All right, Hope. I'll try it on now. Oh yeah, I guess I should show you guys some of the other stuff. We've got the Dark Muse, which is just some assless chaps. The Mist Wizard, which is like some bondage gear. The Red Mage, of course. The Savior, which is the default gear with some bunny ears. And uh, let's look at this new one. Oh, Jesus. That looks pretty good. I mean, it matches, right? That's what we're going for. Uh, what is this stuff? I like that. Let's put that on there, sure. Put some abilities. What is this? Square. Uh, let's put Blizzard. Let's put... Oh, we can... Oh, wait. So one of the things you can do is actually combine um, some of these original, or sorry, these these uh, abilities and get better abilities. So that's kind of cool. Let's put Light Guard there. We're done. Let's put that with that. All right, cool. And uh, we'll go. Don't forget, this is all part of your audition. Even if you don't like the style, let's just run past this. Oh, so I gotta put on this, uh, uh, okay, there we go, changed, uh, equipments, because I have to wear this when I talk to him, of course. So yeah, uh, I guess kind of closing thoughts, this is just a... I can't say it's a bad game um, because I'm sure some people who are invested in the story and enjoy Lightning as a character probably enjoy this game, right? I mean, that's who this game was made for. But it's, it's just such a mediocre game. Like, it, it is... For me, there's nothing like... There's nothing I'm excited for in this game. Maybe the cutscenes. If it were any other night, but I I don't know. Yeah, I would have. Let's uh, maybe we'll get a sweet cutscene here. Maybe. I wonder what the people think of Snow these days. At one time, he was their benefactor, but now. He... How does she fight in those shoes? People are supposed to change, not changing after hundreds of years. Oh yeah, by the way, these characters. They're like a hundred and ninety years old or something. I didn't eh. want to believe his change. JRPG is the explanation. The <laughs> Don't get me wrong, by the way, I love JRPGs. Uh, they're probably one of my favorite games or genres, but still, I whatever. I just thought that was funny. Could even you have given in to despair? I need to know what you went through. What happened to you while I wasn't there? Be quiet. Wait for me. Wait for her. I assume this is going to be a riveting performance. I'm very excited, actually. Uh, music changed. Oh, right. Oops, I gotta get up there. All right, here we go. That's it. Looks like you're ready for me, but I'm not ready for you. You'll wait here. Yes, I'm not gotta fucking wait around. I'm glad that they gave me that option. That's very cool. It's now 3 a.m. Thank you.
Here we go, guys. I'm excited. Well, hello there. Let's turn it up a little bit. Nice. Are you ready to go? We're already prepping the stage. It's almost time for the big show. Break a leg. Uh, one last thing. I'm gonna need all of your people to evacuate. There can't be anyone backstage. And the same goes for you. It's gonna be one hell of a bang. Yeah, that's true. After all, you've put enough firepower in there to blow apart the theater, right? <laughs> so you noticed. Listen, this is my theater we're talking about. Of course, I knew in an instant what would happen if we upped the fireworks like you wanted. Actors I could replace easily. But you were going to take out my audience as well. I can't let you do that. <sighs> so I've been wasting my time. Now, now, that's not what I'm saying. I just think you went a little overboard. So I made a few adjustments. That stage may not survive the night, but no one will get hurt. You don't mind? Look, I get bored spitless doing the same play over and over and over again. The people want something new. And lady, I'm counting on you to give them exactly what they want. <laughs> I can act when I have to. Good to hear, because it's about time for your cue. <laughs> How many decades has it been since I looked forward to a show this much? You're my star. Now get out there and act me a savior beyond anything I've ever imagined. Well, I won't even need to act. If it's the savior you want, you've got her. Boom. Motherfucker. Here, I fished this out of the props department. Might come in handy on stage. Oh my god. Whoa, that FPS drop. All right, that's a lot of droppage. Chosen one, become my blade. Cast aside all that you are. Throw down your life for the sake of my new to save the people of this world, I would give everything I am. Hear our prayers, God. Let your blessings rain down upon us. Yay! You are the true savior. Leave my people and become a beacon of salvation. <laughs> In the name of Radiant God, I bear aloft this light and banish the darkness. Bless 
I just. That's lightning return, guys. Final Fantasy thirteen three. Thank God this uh, this saga is over. I'm checking the situation now. What's the situation, Hope? It looks like the guards are so caught up in the confusion that the palace is wide open. Is that so? It actually worked. Believe it or not, it worked. To be honest, I had my doubts. It's all thanks to that director helping us out. If we'd set up the explosion as you'd planned it, that play would have been a real tragedy. Yes, I admit I might have miscalculated somewhat. But didn't you enjoy playing the leading role? No Next doubt. Next time you go on stage. <laughs> Not in that. Light, you need to head for the palace. All right, guys. Uh, I, you know what? I don't really care about the time. That's Lightning Returns. And hopefully uh, this has given you an idea of what the game is. More power to you if you enjoy this type of stuff. Uh, however, it's not my cup of tea. Uh, it was not what I was looking for in this game. So, Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. And uh, we'll have some more JPOVs coming up in the future. I'm out. Bye-bye.